Hello, in this video tutorial, I'm going through the steps to connect to cPanel, create a database, create a user, assign the privileges to that user for that database, and simply going through PHP MyAdmin on your hosting account and create a simple table. So let's go ahead and log into the cPanel. Simply, what you can do is you can go ahead and put your domain name and a slash cPanel at the end of the domain name to get to this uh, screen. You enter your username and then you enter your password. Simply when you log in, this is the cPanel. There are different versions of the cPanel as uh, far as the layout goes. This is one version that we're using here. Now what you gotta do is, uh, as you can see what it says database, you see PHP MyAdmin, MySQL database, MySQL database wizard, and so on. Now with the MySQL database, if you simply go here, you will be able to create a, a database for your own. So you go ahead, you say MyDB, right? Uh, and then, uh, let me just go ahead and do it this way okay my db okay so click on create database as you can see the database name uh, contains your username as well so username underscore your database name the one that just created so now that i have done that since my hosting only provides one database for my hosting account i will not be able to create more than one right now what i have to do is here i have to go ahead uh, on the same page and I have to create a new user. Now remember, we can rename the database from here, we can delete the database from here too. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a user here, right? So database user, and then I'll put a password. I'll put some uh, very strong password, right? Okay, let me just go ahead. So into that, you can generate the password if you want to, you create the user. So now look at the user, again, user have the uh, prefix of your username plus the username you have created, right? So then it will go ahead, now is the time to add a user to a database. This is to give permission to user to use MyDB database. So if you have multiple users, you can select them from the dropdown. If you have multiple databases, you can select them, uh, select each, uh, whichever you want from the drop down so add simply now this is the privilege page what is that you want this user to be able to do i'll alter the table create a table uh, delete it uh, record index the table select anything that you want you can select or deselect i'll go ahead and select all the privileges for the current user this is very similar to what we have done for zap right so now as you can see the message says all the privileges has been added so i'll go back now in here as you can see I have the user, which I can change the password, rename, and delete it, right? And I can see that this user has access to this uh, database. Now we go back uh, to the main page. Now is the time to go and uh, try my uh, PHP My Admin. So I'll click on PHP My Admin. Remember, most hosting does not allow you to create a database from this interface. It's disabled because they want to be able to uh, manage the number of databases you have with your package. Clicking on database name on the left side, simply you go ahead and create a table. I'll call it foo. Right? I will create two full uh, two uh, fields. Click on OK. Now here is where you go actually uh, pass the value you want. So I'll make an ID. I go ahead and make it auto increment. And as I said, uh, this is a primary key. So I accept it, right? And for the attribute, I'll always make it unsigned. Then I'll go ahead and uh, add here as name, right? Warchar, I'll make it 41 characters, right? Everything is okay, InnoDB, if you wanna have, if you wanna have uh, referential integrity uh, to be used, like being able to commit rollback and uh, transaction, right? You use InnoDB, otherwise you can use MyASAM for a fast read. So I'll leave it as InnoDB, just click on save. Data is ready, I have the table that contains uh, two fields, I can go ahead and uh, click on the SQL tab to write the SQL statement, do a search on the fields of the data in that table. I can go ahead and insert a record. If it's an octo increment, I do not need that. So I can go ahead, test, test, and go. So if I go back to the browse, then you see I have two fields in there. You can export and import the data, right? So if you want to make a backup, this is the best way to do it. 
There are some operation you can do here, which I'll encourage you to read them and work with them. Now, if you want to connect to this, remember if the MySQL database is on the same server, you still refer to local host to connect to the uh, MySQL server. And the username and, pad, uh, username and database always has the prefix of your hosting username. Thank you for watching.